and uh, we will do a, a quick recap for people. Uh, so uh, last time you guys decided to, uh, yeah, you made a deal with the, the kobolds to give you guys a, a little bit time to recover from your first encounter with the troll. Um, and they, uh, they gave you the day to kind of rest and re recoup and, you know, repair some things and so on and so forth. Uh, and then you guys are like, okay, um, we'll, uh, we'll totally go see about uh, dealing with that thing. And then you left. Uh, deciding, uh, for the time being at least, that um, you're not in any position to deal with the troll. Uh, and you thought maybe some, some time uh, to, to kind of marshal your strength and maybe for Tresius to see what his, uh, what his book might have, off to, have up to offer. Uh, made your way back to the surface back to the safe confines of your little owlbear cave uh, which was just as you left it uh, nothing had moved in nothing uh, nothing untoward had happened uh, after getting some uh, some much needed uh, above ground rest and kind of recalibrating braiding your internal clocks you set off for the uh, the village that Robert had told you about that was to the north of where you are uh, outside the jungle, nested up against the hills. Figured, okay, if there's a village, maybe there'd be, you know, a chance to uh, reprovision or pick up some gear or trade some of the things that you have found or uh, get information. Uh, the first actual <coughs> settlement you guys have encountered since you left the, uh, the initial village of Tenora. Uh, on the way, though, uh, you managed to come across and spot ahead of time some folks who were carrying a trust up Robert uh, through the through the jungle. Um, trust up like Han Solo in uh, Return of the Jedi. Kaldi decided to try to uh, put the fear of a god into them, uh, which only seemed to stoke the fires of their religious fervor. Uh, spears were drawn. Attacks were made, and uh, things are looking f kind of dire. You guys, Tresius did like melt the flesh of one of the one of the the humans. Uh, but other than that, things have not been going well for you uh, up to this point. No. Um, yep. Uh, and uh, we left off as, uh, as Tresius downed the person, bringing us to the next round of combat. Uh, if anybody wishes to switch initiative, they can do so at this juncture. I could probably kill another one. I don't even remember what my initiative was. <laughs> Uh, Okatai, Kaldi, Desi, then the Bandits, then Ryzen, and Trustius. Ah, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> I got no plan, so anybody want my spot that's after me is welcome to it. I'm, I mean, I'll trade with you if, if you don't have a plan, unless you want to get away. Leaving Desislava. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, there's no good place here. Yeah, we're fine. I guess we'll just deal. Yeah, I mean, you guys got to split three between you two, and we got to split four between us two. Yeah, the trouble is the bandits are all grouped, the, right? Except for Trust Trustius is hiding. All right, uh, so that will take us to uh, Okatai then. Uh, three bandits have closed on you. Uh, the one, this one here, has taken a hammer blow to its chest. Uh, I think uh, it was number two that did hurt me last time. Yep. That's the one I'm pissed about. Uh, Okatai is going to owl in a very wolf-like way. And I'm going to activate my uh, my race 
Alan. All right. Targeting that guy. I I howl uh, out to the sky, and when I, I bring back my eyes on him, <laughs> I am furious. <laughs> All right. I'm going to spend four willpower on that. Oof. Oof. Or must you bring out the superpower? I hope to do something with that and then use intimidation on the other. So let's, let's see how we go. Uh, so yeah, so should he get away, you can track him for up to four days. And uh, until he is dead or you let him go, you get plus four on all your attacks against him. Holy shit. Nice. That's what I said last time. Like, I, I reread my, my, my talent. I... Racial talent, I was like, okay, I definitely need to use that. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, just getting back to on how to use things. Ooh. And then that is the Darkwood Spear as well. Yep. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Um, so for the poison on the Darkwood, uh, roll three d six. You're looking for uh, you're looking for sixes. And he has to make an endurance roll against that. That poison, what stat does it affect? Strength or? Uh, yeah, it's a lethal poison, so it affects strength. <laughs> um, so the the way the way poisons work is, uh, it's potency three. So you roll three dice. Uh, he rolls endurance against it. If you win, he takes a point of damage to strength every round until he's broken. Uh, okay. If he wins, then he just takes the one point of strength and then he kind of purges it. Uh, uh, but the one point is enough. So yeah, you let out this, uh, you let out this howl and you kind of bring that spear and um, you push it through him and you see that sickly black uh, sap from the spear. Just kind of like the veins right around the wound start to start to blacken and necrotize. Uh, and as you pull the, the spear out, he just kind of looks down and then just continues leaning forward until he falls onto the ground. Look at is going to snarl at him and turn to the next one. <laughs> and uh, uh, bark, but uh, be menacing against uh, the second one. Okay. Uh, Coldy. Uh, Trestius, did you want that? Uh, no, I think we're spread out pretty well. <coughs> uh, is there any wounded one near me? I uh, knew. Well, let's fix that with my absolutely <laughs> minimal uh, combat abilities. Uh, and that. I will push. I will not push. Push means unconscious. Uh, only if you roll ones. Right. Right. Uh, so you swing and he kind of dances out of the way. Uh, but uh, it's enough to like at least draw the attention of one of them off of Desi. Well, that's a plus, except I can't take a single hit. Uh, Desi, you're up. Yeah, neither of... None of these guys are injured. <sighs> so bad. None of them are injured yet. Right. None of them are injured yet. Uh, I'm going to take a swing at... Uh... Bandit... 
number four. Okay. With my long sword. It's a lot of dice. It is a lot of dice for nothing. God. Why did it roll twice? Did it? It did too. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Can I keep the first one? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Ab absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Uh, so yeah, so you kind of spin and you catch that guy. His armor deflects part of the blow, but it still leaves a big gash, and he's like holding it, holding his arm. He's very badly wounded. Good. Thank God. That's it for me. All right. Uh, how many bandits are still up? One, two, three, four. All of them. <laughs> No, you guys have you guys have dropped two. Have we? Yeah, I looked yeah. in the southwest. The 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 A team's down in the southwest. Oh, oh <laughs> is that it? I see. Well, can't wait for you to come and rescue us. <laughs> We're working on it. Uh, I would like to block or to uh, parry his. Okay. I assume he's either hitting me or Colby. He's hitting you. Yeah, either way, I'd like to parry it. Okay, uh, you get plus two for parrying a uh, stab with a shield. Okay. And I have defender. Modifier plus two. Yep. Uh, do you want to parry? Do you want to push the parry, or are you just going to take the damage? See, I can't afford to take the damage. I also can't afford to push, but I'll push and hope. No. Oh. Uh, so yeah, so you get that shield up, but uh, you hit it with such resounding fury that it kind of uh, reverberates up your arm. Yep, that hurt. <clears throat> oh, shake my arm as it goes numb. Uh, this uh, this badly wounded guy. He's gonna try to stab Desi. To no avail. Run, you little idiot. Not you, Kalti. Yeah, uh, I'm not little. What do you talk? No. Did I come up <laughs> the right way? <laughs> oh. That's going to well, hit That doesn't Desi. look good. Uh, I would like to parry. Okay. Oh, boy. <clears throat> do I still get the plus two for the shield? Uh, you do, and don't forget to check the box for your defender as well. Yes, I did. Okay. That's why there are so many dice. For all the good it does me. Holy cow. I, I'm i dying tonight. I'm pushing. Died in your arms tonight. Okay. <laughs> uh, so... Hey, I... I... Plucked a little bit. Uh, so one damage coming in, you can roll your armor. That's why you have so much willpower. Yes. Okay, you, you don't quite, you deflect it enough that your armor deflects the rest. <sighs> yeah, the dice in this game definitely know who I am. And they know which game we're playing. <laughs> uh, this guy is going to... 
step over his uh, his buddy's body and uh, try to stab at Okatai. Nope. Uh, this guy is up here with Ryzen. <coughs> he is not happy after taking that uh, that blow to his chest. He's kind of wheezing a little bit. Yeah, I didn't do anything. Uh, that is going to hit you for two damage. Two damage? Yep. Uh, you could try to dodge if you like. Parry would be at a minus two, so that's probably not a good option. Um, or as a halfling, mm -hmm. uh, because you have hard to catch. Yep. Um, so every willpower that you spent eliminates one success of the attacker's rolls. So he got two successes? He got two successes. So if you spend two willpower, you're so small that he misses you. I will do that. Perfect. Do I just click the the circles? Uh, yeah, I think if you right click, it removes willpower. No, it added it. Okay, then left click will remove it. I can never remember which is which because different games do it differently. Yeah, yeah it's going into the other way. I'll do it. I'll do it manually. Okay, perfect. It makes it easier. <clears throat> uh, and the last bandit. Uh, is going to try to hit Coldy. No. Yeah, Desi. Or, or whatever. Oof. Uh, you could try to parry. You're at a minus two unless you have a shield. I do not. Uh, Doesn't Desi have a thing? I would. Yeah. I would like to parry for him. There you go. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> That's what you get paid for, not that I Sorry, can get paid yet. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you still got your plus two and your plus one from Defender. Excellent. Not that they've been helping me so far. Oh, hey. Up Showed up when it mattered, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you uh, you managed to get your shield up there. You see that one going in for Caldy. You see, like, this look of terror on Caldy's face and... <laughs> He managed to uh, to bat it aside. Excellent. Uh, which will take us to Ryzen. Um, what did you say I could do with performance? Uh, you can nominate a target and do a performance roll, and if you are successful, you will give them a minus one penalty for every success you roll. Oh. Or alternately, you could say like, hey, you, come attack me. <laughs> That doesn't sound like something Ryzen would say. Uh, <laughs> it's for those. Unless I had a cutting. All right, I'm just going to use the bone club for now. Okay. Oh. Oh. I sh oh. Oh. I oh. Wow. I oh. I I forgot to click the the thing that. Under the talent, we're under Hammer Fighter. I don't know if that mattered or not. Uh, it will give you one more die, so just click the D6 down on the thing and see if that comes up a 6 as well. I mean, why I'm not? Sorry? sorry, click where? Uh, on the, the chat on Foundry, there's the dice symbols down at the bottom. Just click the, uh, uh, the D6 one and then roll. Sorry, I'm going to get out of my character sheet. Yep. Uh, sorry, I'm not seeing it. Where is this? I see the counter on the bottom that has the cards and all that. Uh, over under the, the, the chat window. Yeah. Uh, down at the very bottom, you'll see the D4, D6. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oops, did I click 2D6? Yeah. Nope. How do I change it? I keep adding more dice. Uh, right click of remove a die. Ah, okay. 1d6? Yep. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> oh. Ouch. That's a solid hit. That is a very solid hit. 
Feel the wrath of my mighty halfling bone. So yeah, so you like duck out of the way of this uh, of this spear using your uh, your handling halfling nimbleness, uh, and then kind of like you know kind of choke up on the the club and bring mm-hmm. it, and you just like smash him like right in the like kind of where the the rib cage separates, like the solar plexus there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there is a sickening crunching sound as you drop him. You're pretty, <laughs> you're pretty sure you probably drove like bone fragments into his heart. Now who's laughing? <laughs> you're so badass, I'm going to start calling you Lucius too. <laughs> Lucius too? Yep. After the squirrel. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, you do still have your fast action and you're not engaged with anybody if you would like to move. Uh, sure. Um, I will move to assist, uh, who am I with, Kaldi? Uh, you're with Okatai there, so. Okatai, okay. Okay, perfect. I will move to help Okatai. <clears throat> right. Uh, Trustius, you're up. All right, well, I have a, a pool of willpower, but it's not a huge pool of willpower, so his brain's working a little bit better. Because um, he goes a little nuts when he has a lot of willpower. So he'll just, um, <clears throat> with his longbow, I'm going to aim at uh, Bandit 4, I believe. That's long range for me. Okay. <clears throat> as soon as I remember how to do this, there we go. Uh, yep. da, 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 da. Uh, there's a minus 2 for long range. Uh, the longbow is long range. It, uh, long range um, it, it's not like Conan, long range means you can shoot out to long range but there is a penalty for anything that is uh, short range or long range uh, okay if I shot that at 6 would that be short range yep. double check, let me just double check the ranges uh, short is up to 25 meters, long is up to 100 meters, I just assumed that long range meant <laughs> Uh, short would be a bordering zone, according to the <coughs> EDA. Yeah, and long range is out to four zones. Uh, I'm still going to try to help Desi there. Okay. Appreciate it. So, yeah, so it would be <coughs> minus, minus two. two. And that's just a straight modifier minus two. Yep. If you could kill the injured guy, that'd be great. That's what I'm aiming for. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll take that. All right, so Desi, you're like getting surrounded by guys, and you know, you parried one, one of them like stabs you pretty <clears throat> deeply. You manage to save Kaldi's life. Um, and then out of nowhere, an arrow thunk into one, dropping him. She'll just yell out, thank you. Won't even look around to see where it came from. <clears throat> Tess is the only guy with a bow, so. <laughs> I don't know if she's ever seen him fire it, though. Oh, yeah, he's used to it a bunch. Has he? Oh, yeah. He's a hell of a shot, actually. Uh, that will take us to Okatai. You guys managed to turn that around really well in one round. <laughs> it could really go the other way very quickly. Well, the one next to me, I'm not enclosed with him, so I could move. Uh, correct. If you get to the other one, that would be my full round. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to stab him. Okay. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> I don't go to close, I stand short to seven with my my spear. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Excuse me. With three dice for poison. Yep. Try not to get any splinters in yourself. Well, that, that happened when we built the, the thing. You did. Right. Um, so yeah, so you jab that spear into, uh, like, through his armor, kind of like up underneath one of the, like, one of the partially hardened uh, leather plates. Um, and yeah, and as you pull it out, you see he starts to stagger a bit. You know he's definitely been affected by the poison. Um, could I take my fast action to move one though? You sure can. I will. The advantage to fighting with spears is you don't have to close with people. Yep, that, that's why I chose that thing. <laughs> Love the, um, the middle ability of spear. When people close, I can just preemptively stab them. Yep. Uh, Coldy. You are... Mer- the last time I read. You are somehow still alive. Who's more shocked <laughs> than me? <laughs> I don't think anybody is. <laughs> Anybody's what? I'm, I'm actively making sure that you stay alive. <laughs> Not shocked at all. A little shocked that I haven't fallen over, though. Gotta push. No, you don't. That, that one will knock you out if you push. All right, I won't. Me Do being, me me being at a fact is my job enough. Uh, goodness. Are any of these three bandits injured? No. Damn. Okay, I'll... Uh, yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. I will jab at number three. Okay. I will try hey, to been... slash him with my long sword. Hey, I've been abandoned to fight a bandit by myself. What the bleep? <laughs> Fighting three. Forgive me if I'm not sympathetic. <laughs> Uh, um, sorry, you got a partner there. He's not. I am a great conversationalist. I I can't afford to push. I have one strength left. I'm a great conversationalist. <laughs> now all you can talk about is that damn book. <laughs> right. I would like to parry. Okay. No surprise there. You just need to get through this one round, Desi. I'm trying. The thing is, I need to get through this one round for both of us. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. There you go. Yeah. It's a good start. This is what you're good at. Oh, Very. God. Oh, uh... <laughs> I'll parry that one too, hopefully. Oh, you did. Oh, oh wow. Good job. <laughs> it's a lucky target yet. Just barely. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one down here, facing out the horizon, is going to try to stab him. I can't parry that. Sorry, bud. <laughs> uh oh. That's all right. I need a nap anyway. <laughs> Ryzen's not the one paying me, so. Uh, so that'll be one damage, or you can spend the one willpower to ignore it if you like. That Baldi? Uh, not Ryzen. No, Ryzen. Oh, thank God. But I have lots of willpower, so maybe I can ignore damage. You're not a halfling. Damn it! Sorry, you sure. attacked. <laughs> yep, Bandit number seven down here tried to stab you. I can pretend to be a halfling. Just drop oh. to my knees. I thought they all went on the same. I thought they all went on the same initiative. Uh, they are. Oh, I thought we went through them all already. Nope. Nope. Turns oh, turns okay. are going quick now that there's not like eight of them. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I just I have to spend one willpower. You said. Yep. Well, I'll do that. Good old halfling nimbleness. Yep. That's a nice little ability. Yes. Yeah. Me, I can grow back my arm. 
but uh, <laughs> that's not bad. Should we call you Esther. Anyway, can you grow back my finger? <laughs> <laughs> Here. Technically, um, you're yeah, not gonna like how it works, though. So. <laughs> uh, and this final one is gonna stab Kaldi. No, it's not. Can she pull off all three? I don't know. But oh, she won't have to. That one misses <laughs> anyway. That was an outstanding really? round. Well that was you terrifying. Are... There's a couple MVPs this round. I hate one of them. <laughs> for, for the XP, rem- remember this round for the XP at the end of the game. I am earning my silver, damn it. <laughs> right. uh, that will bring us to, uh, bring if us I to die, Ryzen. I just go to else, but... Sorry, who is it? Uh, you're up. You. Okay. Uh, I will attack with my mighty bone club. Did well last um, time. So I should click that modifier for hammer fighter in the yep. combat thing. Okay, yep. I've, I've forgotten to do that previously. Okay, is that what triggers the automatic one damage no matter what if I hit, or is that something else? Uh, no, we just have to remember that that gives you the uh, the extra die on the attack though. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. What I do, coach? That is a hit. I like the sound of that. Uh, his armor would stop it ordinarily, but thankfully you are so skilled with this uh, that you do uh, the do one you do one automatic. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so he's he's wheezing now, like. He's like, he's not sure. Like he was like, oh, a halfling, I'll take a halfling. How bad could that be? And he's starting to regret that thought. <laughs> Good things come in, sorry, lethal things come in small packages. Uh, Trustius, you're up. I'm going to shoot better at number seven. Okay. Uh, minus one because he's close, right? Yep. Longbows are a pain in the ass. Because yeah. you have to aim them. Too, uh, right? uh, you don't have to. You have to ready it. Right, but it's a, it, each round you have to do a prep because there's a talent that gets rid of that, I believe. There is. My uh, my archer has it, so I can fire three times around. Um, I'm happy with one damage. That's fine. Oh, punctures right through his armor. Poof. He drops. Yeah, have two kills for gestures. Three kills for gestures. Kicking oh. ass. All right. Uh, back around to Okatai. I'm going to go after the low-hanging fruit, but... Sure, what are these guys armed with again, Chris? Uh, up here. They have like kind of like uh, like crude like uh, wood and stone spears, and their leather armor is mainly like mostly dried hides, like nothing, nothing better than what you guys have. But okay. <clears throat> Just to know for next time, uh, the poison does it apply on their turn or on my turn? Uh, the poison ticks at the start of the round. Okay. So I'm taking my fast action to move in the zone where the Slavon Kaldi is. And I'm going to stab one of those in the, in the back. Okay. And you, uh, uh, Tresius and, and Ryzen, you would notice that that one that uh, that Okatai stabbed and then moved away from, the one that just got dropped by an arrow, when he drops, he, like, vomits up this, like, thick black stuff. Uh, Ooh. probably. Ooh. Oh, damn. Which one was that, number six? Well, the, there was one that was not hurt in the Sislava zone and just moved in. Okay. I don't know which hey, one is which. 
Right. So Desi, you're like kind of like you know panting a little bit. You know, you've got your feet. You're doing like the like I can do this all day sort of thing. Uh, the, you know, two of the bandits kind of like have you, and then one of them, like you see the the spear kind of push through his front from the back as Okatai comes up behind him. Uh, dropping him. Hey, check out my guy, and I didn't even realize it. Awesome. Uh, Kaldi, you're up. There's only two <clears throat> left. I'm confident I'm taking one down this time. You got I'm this. More confident, too. I can tell. I appreciate you guys having my back. Oh, yeah. You got this big guy. Oh, look at you. Oh. Oh, and that's uh, two wounds, isn't it? It is. So, yeah. So, uh, you know... they kind of turn their attention as the the guy, uh, you know, just the guy that was or that Okada ran through, you know, the the guy that's facing you called. He kind of turns his attention momentarily, just long enough for you to kind of get in under his spear and bring that hand axe to uh, to bear, uh, like deep into his thigh. Awesome. Uh, Desi, you're up. You're muted. Oh, okay. So this one here is wounded, badly wounded, and the other one is not. Sorry, say that again? Um, So the one, that one is badly badly wounded and the other one is not wounded at all yeah okay uh i would like to take up bandit three okay or at least try come on longsword well maybe Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So yeah, so like he looks over and he sees his buddy get speared and then Caldy kind of hits him with the axe and you see like he's he's like starting to like try to back away and you just bring your longsword through and just kind of like cleave him like from his shoulder like partway down into his rib cage. Yep. I'm good with that. Where's your going? Granite oh. bandit one. <laughs> And the remaining guy, the original plan was for, you know, like, because they're under half their number, they were going to try to run. But now that there's only one guy left, I guess he's going to try to run all by himself. It's up to you, range guy. <laughs> Food for the mighty Lucius. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> Uh, so he will use both of his actions to uh, to GTFO. Um, that'll take us to Resin. Chase him down. He'll only go back to the village and say bad things about us. <laughs> You're up there, Mark. Sorry? You're up. Uh, How much can I move? Uh, You can move. You can't quite close with them. You can get into the same zone as him, but you can't quite close with them. So zone would be the same square or grid? Yep. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. I don't know. That's good enough. Yep. Okay. Uh, trust us. <clears throat> um, I'll just kind of take aim. Okay. Like See if I, said, I can make a shot. Long range, so it's uh, minus two, right? Yep. Oof. 
I'm happy with it. Slow him down anyway. So yeah, so I'll get to roll my arrows. Yep. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, he's running and he's line up and shoot it here. Here I'm going like ah. Uh, Little Legolas going on. Yep. Uh, that will bring us to uh, Okatai. Um. Uh, I do. Do I need to take two movement for that? If I want to pursue. Uh yes. About it. Okay. Uh, Cody. Uh, he's fleeing, and I'm uh, plopping on my butt, breathing hard, and uh, clutching my chest, and hoping I'm not having a heart attack. Okay. Uh, Desi. You're muted. Oh, I don't have anything distance. And uh, I'm not going to throw my sword at him. Can I throw a rock? Is there a rock nearby? Uh, yes. <laughs> I will throw a rock at him. <laughs> what does that use? Uh, marksmanship. Oh, God. Uh, marksmanship at minus two for the range. Oh, this is not going to go well. Modifier minus two? Yep. Uh, and you would have to move one zone because Throne Range only has a uh, range of short. Okay. I'll move the one zone. Okay. Uh, and on the plus side, that means your modifier is only minus one. Here, you little shit. <laughs> I'm not pushing that. Probably not. Um, I mean, if you want to push it, although it would be my agility, not my strength, right? Correct. Fuck it, I'll push it then. Ooh, it's willpower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope we have a nap or two before we do anything else. The, the Hallelujah. <laughs> rock just goes like sailing way overhead. Because <laughs> um, my arm hurts. It's my shield arm. It's still all tingly. Uh, he's going to continue to run. Um, so I'm just going to use the elevation marker to, to so you know how many zones further away he is. He's just he's just running like flat out like he's not even looking back. Well, like I don't think I can dash up to him. No, but um, I got one more shot at it. Uh... Take your shot, and if it doesn't work, I'll spend a willpower so I can track it for a day. Track him for a day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it sounds good. Because I'm, I'm petty like that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ryzen. Uh, it looks like it looks like they're uh, they're chasing down that one fleeing guy, but uh, he is his significantly longer legs are making a lot of distance. So, I think pretty much I think it all comes down to whether or not Trustius hits him. All right, I'm going to spend karma and hero points. And fortune. Uh, I get you. Uh, minus two, right? Yep. Because long range does give me four. Oh, come on. No Emmys. Sorry, I didn't realize I was on mute. <laughs> uh, that's okay. 
Is he wounded? He is badly wounded. So this so may... Gonna... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not going to push that. I'm just going to move. Okay. Um, so yeah, as the, as this guy is running, Desi like throws a rock at him. He kind of like throws his arms over his head, just <clears> running <throat> flat out. Um, trust you, she like kind of like judge the wind, uh, you know, angle up, and then that arrow comes down and right through his shoulder, driving him to the ground. And it is all quiet. I mean, Robert is like bound and gagged and tied to a thing going. Mm -hmm. We're almost running after the guy, grab his body and drag him back to the rest. Okay. Make a pile Hopefully. with the bandit. Hopefully, this wasn't like a voluntary thing. <laughs> well, if he wanted to be bound and gagged like that, he should have spoke up first, like safe word or something. Gagged. Desi's just gonna sit down where she is. Gonna shake out her shield arm a bit. Ow! Oh, fuck her, hit hard. You alright, Des? It's like I get the feeling back of my fingers. You got fingers. <laughs> oh. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you get for running ahead of me. All right, Chris, I'll pick up my arrows and avoid that body of that thing that has no flesh left. Okay. Uh, just uh, just as a note, there is no arrow recovery in Forbidden Lands. Yeah, it's just RP. I mean, I I went looking on forums because I go through so many. <laughs> I've been rolling good for arrows so far, so fingers crossed. And Caldy taught me up a little bit last session, I think. Well, that's it. The fear works perfectly, just as I wanted. <laughs> Alright, um, so uh, as you guys kind of police the body, I mean, not all of these people are uh, are dead right away a couple of them are a couple of them are dying as a result of the poison working its way through their system um the one with the um the one that uh took the, the massive uh hammer blow to the uh to the chest uh he is definitely dead like his lungs collapsed from the force of that blow uh the guy that was the guy that was running the arrow arced it down and like basically <coughs> threw the top of his skull and out his jaw uh, but there are still like four of them in various uh, assorted badly wounded states, but not dead. They're they're broken, so they're no longer putting up a fight, but they're not dead. Caldy. Yeah. Or our risen one of you. Can you um can you get their names for yeah. me, please? Sure. I'll go around to each of the dying and Ask their last words, their names to be passed on to their next man, and uh, so I can tell them stories how brave they were in combat, and maybe get a persuasion roll out of that. Uh, give me a manipulation roll. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, so you you get their names. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name a bunch of random NPCs. Um, nah, it's just a spell component thing. Yeah, uh, but you do get their names. Uh, but uh, as you, as you're going, like oh, you know, we'll make sure that your story lives on. Um, basically, to a man, the, the ones that are dying, like a couple of them, are, they're going to recover in time. Like you know, one of them's like missing a finger. Another guy's got like an arrow through his thigh. I mean, they're fucked up, but they're. Uh, they're, they're, they're not in any danger of dying. One of the guys uh, took a, a spear like through his gut and it basically ripped out um, some of the important parts that keep all of the nasty stuff away from the important stuff. Then fill it with poison? Yeah, he, he's going to die. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to die. Um, but 
uh, when you're like, oh, we will uh, we'll make sure that your stories live on. They're like, I go to feed Jakus. My life is complete. <clears throat> You're happy about that? It's a name that's familiar. Yeah. yeah. It was on the wall of the, 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 the temple. In the tomb. Yep. The Slayer God. I believe this God is gone. God. Well, the temple are left the rock, but apparently uh, a couple of people revived the fate, yeah. Perhaps there's more of them. Maybe someone better than me at helping those people who can check from where to come. Well, we could just untie this guy and ask him. I mean, in theory, there's a village of them, right? Uh, the question is, where are they going to the village? From where he's from, or well, you can ask their prisoner. Uh, gotcha. Is the same guy you've seen before? Yes, Robert. Oh, that's on high, Robert, and ask him if those were his villain mates. So as you uh, as you start to approach Robert, you know. He's seen you just slaughter these people, so it, his eyes kind of go wide. He's like shaking his head, you know, kind of like mumbling something through the through the gag. He lo- he looks uh, he looks frightened. Someone should let him free. I think. Yeah. Can't say I blame him for being all panicky. <clears throat> It'll have to be somebody with more dexterous fingers than I've got right now, because my hand is still all tingly and weird. What do you, know, what do you need now? Well, I can release him while you look after Disney. <clears throat> it's not. Yeah, I'm not bleeding anywhere. I don't think. It's all just. Oh, he must have had a nerve or something. Or it's just the shock from the shield. I'll be fine. I just need a nap. If, if another fight broke up, you might feel my palm in your back. Just in case. Don't be alarmed. I'm just trying. To, I'll, I'll put you back on your feet if we absolutely need to. But... If a rest is enough, I'd rather go with the rest. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm rest not sure. Pretty essential. Yeah. Yeah. She's we still just like sitting there, kind of flexing her arm and shaking her hand out. So poor Robert, all tied up and gagged, will just watch his trustiest <laughs> kind of excited. staring at the <laughs> ground, not making eye contact. Slowly walks up to him, crouches down, and pulls out a knife. <laughs> it's okay, Robert. Everything will be fine. <coughs> Please tell me he's reassuring that poor guy. It, he's got an empathy too, so he's trying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't hear you from over here. You can talk too quietly. <laughs> but yeah, he'll he'll uh, he'll cut his bonds. Oh, thank you. That, that, thank you. Oh, it's you guys. Hey, Robert. I, uh, I'm starting to think there might have been something to that idea that maybe uh, messing around with the uh, with the markings for the the Nightwalker. Maybe, maybe we did end up cursed. I mean, poor Josiah. I don't know what happened to him. And uh, you know, this. Oh. Hey, you're not cursed. You just got rescued. That is true. Yeah. It's all in how you look at it. Tasting over yet. 
Oh, oh, trust me. It's just, so it's up to the, it just leaves. Like he's he's not making eye contact with nobody. He's Neither just like mm. <laughs> hey, Chris, I wanna take some time to search the bandits that are out of commission. See That's if they have anything idea. useful. Okay. <clears throat> Um, yeah, amongst them, you do find uh, you do find like a, a handful of uh, of um, kind of like like thin discs of copper. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely like coinage, but not anything that's minted or stamped or anything. That is a total of twenty six copper coins. Ooh, I'm rich. Who's doing the loot thing this time? Not I am. I am. I'm doing the loot thing. And you also find uh, on one of them, he has uh, a uh, a crudely made but still very functional uh, bronze drinking horn. Hmm. Uh, which is worth 11 copper. Uh, I know that they have like some crudely made spears and like very kind of like, like definitely uh, handmade and not by a terribly skilled tanner leather armor. Most of the leather armor is largely wrecked because every time I made an armor roll, I think I rolled a skull. So uh, their arm, their armor is pretty pretty messed up. I might have cut some slashes into it. It's fine. Uh, Chris, I assume they have like minor possessions, uh, like an earring or, a, or a, you know, a trinket or. Uh, they don't actually. They don't like nothing, nothing no. that makes them individuals. Um, nothing. Um, you would guess that, um, and uh, uh, since you're looking specifically for it, because you did hear them refer to, you know, the fact that they serve jacuz and you know that. Uh, robber who's being brought as tribute. I mean, that's what kind of tipped the hand when Kaldi tried to intimidate them. So they're obviously religious folks of some bent, but there's nothing that looks like a symbol or anything. Like, they're, they're not, you know, no um, you know, no holy symbols or anything. Nothing that would denote them as a, as a faithful <coughs> person. Like, nothing like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm aiming for a possession of a dead person. Yeah. Quote, unquote. Uh, there is the bronze drinking horn. It's probably heavy. Uh, it is normal. Uh, right. Normal's one? Yep. Why is my encumbered so low? I'm seeing 5.5 uh, 5 out of 8 at the moment. Yep. We did uh, rejigger our who was carrying what last session. Possibly because you're out of water or out of food and that they... Uh, I am out of yeah. water and I'm out of torches. That's what's yep. going on. Yep. That reduces your weight. Uh, Cold, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Because well, you'll just flop back on the grass. That Valkwood goes above and beyond my expectation. I'll need more of that wood. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I'll take that horn for now, Chris. Okay. And you say it's normal? Uh, yes. Now we'll see which guy belonged to. Did it belong to a dead guy or not? Is the question. It will soon. Uh, I did not. I believe the guy whose finger got cut off by Desi. Well, as I said, the day's not over yet. All right. Uh, but yes, you guys, some of you are battered and bruised. Uh, some of you have dings in your armor or your weapons. Uh, but uh, you, have, uh, you have rescued Robert. He's like rubbing his wrists and he's... My, I don't know. I don't know 
how I can repay. This is the second time now that you've, uh, I guess, saved me. You can carry the tent. Did you know? Did you knew to the guy? Uh, those guys? Uh, yeah. No, uh, never, never saw them before in my life. Are they coming back to your village, or is that just a coincidence? I don't know. Because I think the way I can tell to see if he's lying, empathy. Uh, that's an insight roll. Insight? I'll do that. I'll back you. Up. He was very, he was very quick in saying, "I've never seen these people." I'd like to roll that too, if that's okay. Uh, yep, that's fine. Uh, you could push that if you want. Mm, sure why not. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Ouch. We really need a nap, don't Jeebus. we? Jeebus. I need some rest. How do I take four damage from that? Happens to me all the time. Roll Rip a lot of water. When you, when you roll a lot of dice and they show up snake eyes. When you have to be polite to a person that's being really obnoxious. Not much stress could cause a lot of damage. Yeah. Fair. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, you know, you've just... It, it's been a day. I mean, between, you know, troll fights and being underground and, you know, then coming back and then, you know, fighting people and, you know, having your life at risk. And if it wasn't for the halfling, you think maybe you'd be dead. You're just like, you know what? Fuck all these people. I'm done with them. Especially this yep. asshole who you're pretty sure is being deceitful. Yep. So, um, basically, insight means when you're successful at insight, because I rolled shit on manipulation. Um, determine the NPC's state of mind. It must be close to the NPC. Spend a few minutes observing them. If you're successful, you get to know what their strongest emotion is right now. Uh, and right now, um, his strongest emotion... Uh, his strongest emotion is probably relief. Um, but both you and Kaldi are like, you don't think he's relieved at being rescued. So while they're trying to figure all this shit out, Chris. Yep. Uh, Trestius will just, you know, he's staring at the ground as he always does, and just make his way around to where the guy that owned the horn was, and I'll slit his throat. Okay. Uh, you need to fail an empathy roll. A fail an empathy roll. You do. Oh, I can't just kill him. That's right. In this game, you can't kill him. There is specifically a talent for that. I will. Uh, I will absolutely try to make an empathy roll. <coughs> I'm not very good at empathy. Okay. I'm not going to push that. Uh, you can't. Failing's good, right? Yeah, you can't push it anyway. You can only push skill goals. Right. I mean, I assume he's helpless, right? Yeah, he is. Uh, like defeated. Yeah, whenever you're, uh, whenever you're broken, you, uh, uh, you can't make any die rolls or anything. I'm just gonna find. I think you need to spend a willpower as well. I think you're right. Actually, I'm sounds familiar. Well, it rarely I'm comes. Yeah, it, it rarely comes up in our game because our fighter has uh, cold blooded. Happy to spend that willpower. Um, it's an intelligent being. You must fail an empathy roll and must spend one willpower point and suffer one point of damage to empathy. Okay. I have done all those things. All right. So, yeah. They're like, oh, that, uh, that guy there, he doesn't look like he's going to make it. I'm going to just put him out of his misery. No, I'm killing him because I need this to be a possession of a dead person. Yep. 
And at the back of your and mind. And it's not dead yet. The back of your mind, there's something that's like, oh, God. God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trustius is like, oh, I'm horrible. Clum. Uh, and Trustius, give me a. Uh, actually, no, wouldn't be scouting. Um, as you do, you basically, you know, you slit this guy's throat and he kind of slumps on the ground. Um, you notice, like, as the blood kind of pools into the ground, it doesn't. It doesn't stay pooled on the ground. It just kind of gets absorbed into the... But, I mean, it's a jungle. Uh, you know. We've seen that before, right? You have seen that before. You should probably Can have a few I make things. a lore roll? Um, I, I have a fancy book. You do have a fancy book. It's a terrifying fancy book, but... Uh, yes. Is, is the book specifically about blood, and this is blood-related lore check, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, yes, you can, uh, I will tell you that in order to get any information, you will have to use the artifact die. That's it. Uh, I mean, if you have one, yeah. you might as well use yeah. one, right? Okay. There was, if you used artifact dice, there could be a complication with it, if I remember well. Uh, yes, if you use the artifact die, there's automatically a roll on the horror table. Could straight up kill him. Okay. It could. But, I mean, that's Less why we play the game. So, uh, no one needed ace. Uh, and then uh, a D8 artifact die. Oh, I had to click the artifact die. I thought clicking yeah. the book would have done. Yeah, no, I don't. It's not coded in, so. All right. I could push it. You could. It could kill me. Uh, fuck it. I am broken. It's this before oh. it even rolled. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. All right. So, uh, Trustees is like flipping through his book. He's like, oh, maybe, maybe there's something in here. Maybe there's something in here. Maybe there's something in here. Uh, and you guys see um, his his face just goes blank, uh, and he kind of he kind of zones out. You know, Ryzen is over there muttering to himself about you know what a shitty ass day it's been and whatever. Basically, when you've because uh, being broken does different things depending on the stats. Mm hmm. Um, so strength means you're knocked senseless the agility is collapsed from exhaustion with which you're uh, paralyzed by fear or confusion um, roll a critical injury except if you broke yourself by pushing a roll so you guys are both fine there um, so yeah <clears throat> basically you guys are just like it's been a for Ryzen it's been a long shitty ass day and you're like you know I'm done with people I'm uh, like you know, um, for Tresius, Tresius just zones out and isn't there. Kind of like the book falls from his fingers. He's kind of sitting cross-legged in this pool of blood and just stares. Just this blank stare off into the distance. Seeing something that the rest of you guys don't see. Maybe something like that. Well, we all need a rest. I think this is kind of normal for Trestia, so I don't know. Doesn't he done that before? It is a lot of weird stuff. Hmm. Good nap. You have a good sleep, and oh, I'll feel better in the morning. Did Robert? Is he still around? She'll sit up again. Yeah, he's still here. He's like, oh, hey. He's like, uh, that dude just slit that guy's throat. Not see us killing bandits, and. Killing the people who were trying to, I don't know, burn you to death? 
<sighs> yeah, yeah. Just, I mean... I mean, I cut that guy pretty nastily. He's not getting up again. I mean, killing a guy, killing a guy in a fight is one thing, but I mean... Putting him out of his misery isn't? Oh, uh, you know... So we've seen someone trussed up like you before. They cooked him. Oh. <laughs> it's a damn good thing you guys came around then. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe sympathy for the guy that Trestius just put an end to is a little misplaced. Well. Don't pick on the mentally ill. He's going to do what he's going to do. Just be glad he's on our side. He's a oh, scary little for a minute I thought, you were talk- I thought you were talking about the bandit for a minute. No, Trestius is a scary little <laughs> demon man. You know, he's one of those quiet ones that one day he's going to snap kill a whole bunch of people. Just be glad he's on our side. Let's keep him on our side. He's something all right. But yeah. I'm going to walk to Trestius and... Sorry. I wanna, I'm gonna walk up to dress this. Uh, take a piece of leather and just use it to pick the book without picking, without touching the book. Gotcha. Wrap it, put it next to dress this, and start humming, and I'm gonna try to calm his mind. Okay. I'm gonna use Clem's spirit on him. Uh, I do have the the scroll for that. Okay, so you can safe cast it. Uh, so. <coughs> Uh, trust you, you come back with, uh, you got one point of wits back. Awesome. I'll take it. Uh, so yeah, you kind of, uh, you kind of snap out of it. The book is still next to you. The book is still next to you, but it's closed and it's wrapped. But it's just next to you. And, and as he snaps, I like, I, I imagine he's still in this cross-legged position, kind of sitting in this pool of blood. Um, as it seeps in the ground and like his eyes flash back open and he looks, 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 sees where the book is and just grabs it. Just doesn't peel it out of the leather. Just grabs it and holds it to his chest. Don't worry. He didn't take it away. I just think it's enough reading for today. Okay? You're probably right. He should rest. I'm still unsure about all of this. Uh, they were taking them somewhere that looks awfully in the direction of where we wanted to go. I'm not sure about all that. So. I can figure the book out. I just need time. Point, my point is if we need to rest, if we push on and we get in a village full of those people, I'm not comfortable. Me neither. We could camp here if we had to. Yeah, we have to, yeah. Time of day is it, Chris? Uh, it's like early morning. Oh, so we got oh, lots of time. If we lots do camp here, we're, we're probably going to starve. Food is getting scarce. That's why I wanted to. Well. That's why we, I wanted us to hunt before we leave the, the whole bear cave. I still we have eight wanted... for both food and water, so I think that means I can share with at least one person. We all wanted to go to the village, we go into the village, but... <sighs> Whatever's the safest thing right now, because we're all beat to hell. So, Robert... Um... Ugh! These people. Were they from the village? I've never seen them before. 
Okay, so did they grab you on your way back to the village? Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was headed towards that other place that you told me about. No, oh, the one down south? Yeah, I mean, I was only, you know, maybe the better part of a day from, uh, from your cave and uh, made a little camp and uh, these, guys, uh, these guys found me. Um, and just uh, just to clarify for both uh, Ryzen and Calding, you guys succeeded on your insight checks, so you guys do know that he is not being entirely truthful. He did say, I've never seen them before, just a little bit too fast for your guys' liking. I ain't gonna push him, I got my own secrets. I will whisper to uh, Desi that... Uh... This guy's lying about not knowing him. Just, I got a feeling. I can read people. Like you can read a book. You gotta know when to hold them. Know God. when to fold them. Were you broken after that roll, Mark? Yes, sir. I took four wits damage on that. I thought it was empathy, empathy damage. You just, oh, inside is, is wit. Oh. Well, if I, if I realize that uh, he's being bro a fool, uh, fool mounted again, I'm probably going to go and cleanse him too. Okay. So Okutai is just spending a bit, low, uh, low growl. And when you see that Kali is in a Foul mood, not, not call the, uh, sorry, uh, Resin is in a foul mood, uh, he's gonna cleanse this bird too. Okay. Give him a ten. Alright, uh, you got one point of wits back. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I can't. Can I actually do it myself, or oh, I can do manually. Oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm at, you... my wits are fine. I don't need anything like that. But my strength and agility are both down by half, and I start at two, so it's a uh, pretty down. Oh. Yeah, the medicine. Oh god. Out of five. God, I have to rest. <clears throat> yeah, please. The day has just started, but yeah. Uh, we can try to find a village, but I don't know how safe it's going to be over there for us to rest. And if we set up camp here, I. Uh, well, food and water is going to be scarce. Well, you guys have already eaten and stuff for the day, so you don't have to okay. worry about water and stuff until tomorrow. Oh, excellent. If we rest now, we'll be moving and going to the village over the cover of darkness. Right. Well, if we're morning, then we can rest. Yeah, it'd be evening when we're done. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're more comfortable with it, we can rest here. And we talk more with uh, Robert here, and we can move on when people are rested. I don't know about water, but I can feed the party with my with, with the wits I've got right now, or the willpower I have right now. Alrighty. So you guys are you guys are just rusting for a bit, are you? Yeah, if we can. I think so. Yes, please. All right. Um, so, uh, who is going to keep watch? From what I hear, everyone is nearly broken, so I guess it's going to be me. Our sleep cycle's all messed up from living in a cave for too long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and being underground. And underground for a couple days, yeah. 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 I'm not very good at it, but I'm going to stand guard. I feel like I'm 
Which I was nice. fine right <laughs> up to that last roll. All right. Uh, so, uh, you know, everybody, you know, you kind of Magic. make yourselves comfortable. I, I, I assume you're not like setting up camp and sleeping. You're just like you know, <coughs> taking some, yep. taking some time. Yeah, we're taking a quarter day, right? Yep. Uh, so I will get uh, Okatai to give me a uh, scouting roll. Not bad. Um, so yeah, uh, time passes. Ah, the rain starts to lighten up. Nice. Yay. Um, so, yeah, by the time you guys are done kind of recovering, um, you guys do rest. You guys can all hit your rest button. Those of you that, uh, that oh, need thank it. God. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. Rest button. And since we've rested, we could spend XP, right? Yes, you can. Um, so I can spend XP for Blood Magic 1? Uh, yes, if you have 3 XP. Uh-oh. I do. Can you buy anything with two? I don't think so, right? Uh, no, three is the minimum. I'm okay. sorry, we're able to hit our rest button now? Yep. Oh, thank God. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. oh, hey. My hand's not numb anymore. Excellent. Oh, you sure you're okay, Caldy? Yeah, I'm five by five. Desi will kind of stretch. Shoulder cracks, but only the once. <sighs> Let's not do that again anytime soon. That was really, uh, what could jump by bandits? Uh... You did jump the bandit. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't, I don't think they jumped us. The mighty Tyranitel, or whatever you call them, Colby did jump them though. All right, there you go, Tony. I added the uh, blood magic level one and level two uh, spells to your thing. Do you have the general spell uh, for the left out caster? Uh, yeah, did I not add them onto your sheet? Nope. I did not. Uh, you gave me a level three one. Uh, yes, because you use your highest path, so you can overcast the level three general one. Okay, good to know. Better. That should give them to you. There you go. Yep. 
Everyone is feeling better? Well enough. Much, much better. All right. Uh, so everybody, everybody is up and and operational. Um, you guys, you do know that um, kind of northwest from the El Bear Cave was where this village was supposed to be. Um, but uh, I will need somebody to give me a lead the way roll and somebody to give me a scouting roll. Assuming you guys want to pick up and continue moving. You all wanted to go to the village. We're gonna find that village. Yep. Sure. But seeing how that spirit perform, I want more of Blackwoods. At some point, I want to go back to the Haldair cave, and we left some stuff there too. Okay. I'm gonna lead the way. Okay. Uh, um. So there is a minus two to lead the way because of the fog, because the rain is burnt off. So fog follows rain. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm not happy about it, but it makes sense. Who's keeping watch? <laughs> Coldy, I think, right? At night, I keep watch. Because I can see in the dark. Okay. I'm um, not going to do it. Uh, so who's keeping watch while you travel? Uh, I might as well co-keep watch. Anybody else want to help? Well, one person does it, so. Uh, and what do we need? We're looking for scouting, or? You're looking for scouting. Yeah, uh, mine adds up to six. Four. Three. Three. I guess I'm scouting. Mine's add up to five, because I don't have any rank in scouting. And I'm already leading the way, anyway. Yeah, I'm thinking I need to bump thy scouting up a bit. If I'm going to do it. There's no point in adding to fighting. You want me to roll? Um, yes. In the, in the group, you can click on keep watch if you want. Hey, it's a good roll. Uh, I think we, we roll well as long as we're not underground. Trying to figure out why my lighting isn't working right. Um, so you guys travel for a, for a good chunk of the afternoon. Uh, and you do start to uh, arrive. Um, basically, you clear, the, uh, you clear the forested area, the jungly area. And you start to come into more like low-lying hills and, uh, and thick grasslands. Like, you know, the, the grasses are... Probably they need a waist high on uh, the normal sized people. So like Kaldi and, and Ryzen, the, the grass is like nose level or taller on you. Um, and it's like this, um, like it's not a dry grass. So it's like lush and green and uh, really kind of uh, idyllic and peaceful. 
uh, and you see on the horizon, um, uh, kind of uh, uh, butted up against uh, some some kind of taller hills. Um, small little village looks like it's maybe maybe like six to ten houses. Robert is following along, I assume. Uh, Robert is following along. He's like, ah, home sweet home. I think we can know about your home before we get there. Uh, no, peaceful farming folks. Um, you know, uh, don't uh, don't take off uh, Marissa. She's the uh, kind of the, the the mayor, as you would. Uh, she's a, a bit of a, a bit of a hard nose, but you know, don't cause any trouble with her, and uh, everything will be fine. I mean, not a real big village, to be honest. Okay, I'm good. All right, let's go see if we can make some money. I mean, make some friends. Sure. Uh, so as you uh, as you start to uh, to approach the village, you can see there's like a there's like a little copse of trees around it. You can see some actual tilled farmland. Uh, what looks like a like a little lake. Um, there's a, a, a building with a like a, a working water wheel. Like they're the definite civilization. Like these are not tents. These are actual like constructed buildings. Any dead people working the farmland? No. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> so, mm. Yeah. Keep an eye out for a symbol of strange gods, just in case. Uh, that's a little bit better scale, slightly. Um, but yeah, the the fog is the fog is thick here as you make your way in, and you see there are uh, there are some people out tilling the tilling their fields, tending to their crops. Um, you know, a couple of them kind of look up as they see, but nobody nobody really says anything. They, they kind of wave, but they're kind of occupied with going about their their own business. Um, and Robert will say, like, oh, uh, it's really, uh, it's not much. I mean, we, uh, we tend to keep to our, ourselves a fair bit here, but more than, uh, more than welcome. Uh, I'm going to go and, uh, I mean, I've been wearing these clothes for quite a while, so I'm just going to stop by the house and, uh, and get a change of clothing. You have your own house, or is it like a communal uh, no, uh, he kind of, like, points off in the distance, like, you know, there's a little farmhouse in the back. I mean, it's not much, but it's mine. Um, we don't have really much in the way of, like, a, a communal, uh, place. I mean, nobody's going to mind if you pitch a tent here or there. Uh, we do have, uh, we do have, like, a community, um, like, eating hall, um, like a tavern sort of thing. Um, across the lake there, uh, there's a smithy if you need to get anything built or uh, or repaired. Uh, but yeah, come on in. Uh, suggest you go uh, go over to the gentle sheep there. That's the 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 tavern, and uh, they'll be able to get you fixed up with uh, you know some hot food. Some we don't have much for drink. We have like this barley wine that we make. But uh, I mean, it's not much, but it's home. This is luxury. And uh, Robert trundles off. All right. There's too many people here. I don't like it. Uh, and Coldy, give me a scouting roll. Happily. I was going to kind of suggest that somebody follow him stealthily. Uh, 
Um, so as uh, as he's walking off, you do see um, he does he does kind of like nod to uh, like the farmers that he passes. Um, there there's something something a little bit off about the nod. Uh, he's fishy. Somebody should follow him. I'm not stealthy. I am not stealthy either. Really? Huh. I would have thought that you would be. That's fair. I'm not stealthy. Coach. So kind of blink at Trustius, what? Freya's kind of, he's, he's old. Oh, gotcha. Caldy. Not oh, Robert. Cool. Right. What do you want Caldy to do? <laughs> I don't like any of this. Okatai, we, we shouldn't be here. I told you I didn't trust the village, but... What do you want us to do? Well, I don't want to drink or eat anything they have here. Why? Well, I don't trust, uh... I don't trust the person we saved. What was the plan in coming over here? You wanted to sell stuff to them? Buy stuff from them? Well, we need a community. We don't want to live in a bear cave, a bear owl bear cave, do we? Hmm. Depends. I was thinking of staff. I'd rather build something and find people to help us with it than just join a village. Oh, uh, Tony, I Join, added... Take uh, over, whatever. Uh, I added a thing uh, uh, under notes on Tracy's character sheet as a result of your uh, interaction with the book. Uh, oh, really? Okay, interesting. Yeah. Are things going all evil dead for you, Tony? <laughs> it's all fun and games till somebody has a chainsaw hand. Uh, so, uh, uh, close. As as you guys are kind of standing there, taking in this uh, this little village in the in the mist, kind of debating what to do. One of the one of the farmers, um, older gentleman, probably in his fifties, human. I was walking up, it's like, well, strangers. We don't Where's get many of those. Got? Welcome, uh, welcome to Eldham. Eldham? A wonderful place you got here. Uh, well, it's not much, but it's home. I see you, uh, come with Robert there, did you? Yeah, we found him as a stray. Is he, uh, one of yours? Yeah, he uh, went out with the hunting party a few days ago. Uh, hunting party hasn't returned yet, but... Yeah, he found some trouble out there. And, uh, I don't know if, uh, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but... I don't have high hopes for the rest of the hunting party. Oh. We saw another one of your hunting party looking for deer. Did they come back yet? Uh, well, we only got the one hunting party out, and they're not back, so I guess that was them. When you saw them, uh, um, uh, Brain, this is Lava. They were pretty much alive. Oh, the ones who were deer hunting? Yeah. Yep. They had it back. Oh, maybe you're just ahead of them then. I mean, maybe they were hauling a deer. I mean, we've been we've been trying to tell uh, Marissa that we should really build some pens and get some livestock here, but. Uh... We haven't quite gotten around to it yet. 
Can I speak with Marissa, please? The commune? Which way is she? Uh, Marissa, this time of day? Uh, she's probably over at the smithy. Can you point out where the smithy is? Yeah, just, uh, go, uh, across, uh, across the creek there and, uh, we'll take the bridge. Uh, and just follow the path and you'll see it. It's right on the, right on the, the lake there. It's the one with the water wheel. And okay. Tressie just starts so walking. And his head actually is up. Look uh, down at Caldy. Pardon me? I think we should, I'm, Desi looks down at Caldy. Think we should keep an eye on him? If we get lucky, he might just wander off in the woods. Well, uh, Smitty is the is what I wanted the, from a village. I got some stuff that I want to repair. Might as well. All right. Uh, I think we should stay together, though. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. We'll all follow uh, Trustius. Okay, it's a good idea. It really is, but <laughs> I think he's like <laughs> the big, most dangerous thing on the island. We might need to stop you from doing something stupid. But hey, he's he, he's like looking ahead, not looking at his feet. That that could be good or terrifying. One or the other. I'm gonna thank the farmer who gave us the information. <laughs> Just not, not sure yet. Him. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Like I said, we don't get uh, we don't get strangers here often, so uh, you might want to check in. Uh, if you're looking for looking for food, you can check in over at the over at the tavern there. I mean, we call it a tavern. It's really just you know where everybody here goes to eat and drink, but a uh, tavern has a better ring to it. <laughs> you know, people people like some of the things from the old life, right? Yeah, I guess. I hear you got a, some sort of uh, what was it? Fermented uh, hops or? Oh, we do like a like a grain wine, like a barley wine. Uh never really had that yeah it's uh it's not bad uh for those of you that uh that prefer to drink non-alcoholic beverages we do have uh we do have a uh, a very very tasty beet juice you uh is the water from the river uh drinkable oh yeah yeah absolutely Oh, I refilling did. water skins. Yep, I just like to refill my water skin. If <laughs> if that's not an insult to the village, <laughs> oh, go right ahead. I mean, well, you know what fish doing that, right? Yep. But uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's safe to drink. I might try the beet juice, but for now, at least re refilling the water skin. I haven't seen a river in days. Like, there's not much river around here. Oh, for sure. Uh, I think that's part of the reason why this uh, this village is put here. Uh, take advantage of it, you know? I mean, it's good for the crops. If you have the beaches, let me know, because they're, they're my beets, so I take kind of pride in them. For sure. Never. Absolutely. Is there anything you're particularly looking for? Anything you miss from back in the day? Can't get some rare stuff that you, or common stuff that you just can't get your hands on in, in this location? I, um, I, I tend to carry around some goods for trade and sale. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't seen a, a peddler in uh, for, forever, really. Uh, more of an entrepreneur investor, uh, uh, venture capitalist type person, really. I'm not really a peddler, but I do have stuff to, you know, make trades and build a good relationship for future business. Oh uh, yeah, we can. Happy uh, to work with you and your people here in this fine village. I uh, could definitely use, uh, you know, if you've got any, um, if you got a, like a lantern, because uh, we broke a couple of those. Uh, bandages we can always use. Uh, we don't have a, we don't have much of a in the way of a healer here. Uh, I know. Uh, one sec. Find my NPC name list. I know um, uh, Linick over there at the at the the gentle sheep. She was uh, she was looking for a, a couple of new cauldrons. Hers are pretty pretty bare. Um, I'm sure you can find people that are willing to buy what you got. 
Alright, awesome. I think I can do most of that. Caldy does not mention the two kinds of poisons he's carrying with him, or anything okay. like that. If anybody needs poisons, I get a paralyzing one and a hallucinogenic, or however you pronounce that word. Okatai is a big fan of poison, and has been seen before. <laughs> um, so yeah, so as you guys make your way through this uh, this fog shrouded village, um, they, it, it's very nice. They have like actual like little kind of cobblestone pathways. Uh, there's a, a well constructed bridge uh, that kind of crosses the creek. The creek itself is not real big. Kind of traumatized by fog, though. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna refill my water skin. <laughs> uh, yes, everybody can refill their water skins up to a D12. Awesome. Wow. Is that a roll or just we can do it? No, it just fills it up. Just uh, put your die up to a D12. Um, there's four four different fields. It looks like um, uh, basically uh, a fair number of root vegetables. You see potato plants, beet plants. Um, the larger field uh, down here it seems to be uh, seems to be uh, wheat. Um, several houses, uh, a large kind of central bonfire area. Uh, there's even like a little dock and a little like rowboat, probably that they use for fishing the lake. Um, it's right. quite a nice little village. I'll uh, you know, I'm kind of bringing up my parchment and map and sketching around and you know all that making my notes field notes that kind of thing and of course we're following Trestius because he's up to no good uh, Oof, and yes uh, just off the the lake there is uh, there is a larger building with the you can hear like the you know the the bang of uh, the banging of steel on steel as uh, the you know the blacksmith works the uh, Work stuff on the anvil. Um, and as you as you go, you know people that are working the fields are are watching you. All right. Since everybody is following with trust yet. Um. So yes. Uh. It's um. I mean, it's not a super fancy smithy by any stretch, but they do have uh, they do have like some um, kind of tools on display for sale. You know, like pickaxes, shovels, um, pitchforks, that sort of thing. You don't see any weapons or shields or armor on display. Uh, probably not a real big call for it. It's more of a smithy for the village as opposed to a smithy who sells things to adventurers. And do we is the smithy here? And do we know his name? Uh, there are two people here. Uh, one of them, uh, you know, a fairly fairly muscular, like stereotypical blacksmith uh, guy, uh, working on thing. You have no idea what his name is. Uh, and then there's a there's a woman that seems to be not so much helping him, but like, you know, kind of like bringing him water when he needs it, and just kind of like, you know, kind of fitzing about. <clears throat> All right. They do not seem to have noticed you. I'll say. Howdy, friends. They both kind of, you know, not exactly jump, but they do kind of look. Say. Newcomers. Yeah, we found one of your, one of your uh, villagers in the woods. Uh, in some serious trouble, so we kind of rescued him, brought him back home, and hoping to meet the locals, make new friends, and perhaps business partners. Oh, ah, uh, I see. Um, my name is uh, my name's Keith. Uh, this is uh, my wife Marissa. Uh, thank you for. Uh, I assume it's a. Hunter who got lost or something. Robert. Yeah, Robert or something like that was his name, I believe. Oh, Robert. Oh, he went out days ago with the hunting party. Yeah, well, he's back now. 
Oh, well, wouldn't surprise me. I mean, between you and me, he never should have, uh, he shouldn't wander too far from the village. I mean, they got on the wrong side of some, uh, how to, uh, phrase it politely, quite religious folk. Yeah. Uh, trust, trust me, that, that, uh, that boy would get lost between the water wheel and the building here, so. Be a good guy? Yeah. Well, he's harmless, yeah. That's good to know. Well, my name's Caldy Fig. This is my associate, uh, Desi Slava, and uh, I point around, like, Risen, Trestius, and Okatai. Um, and, uh, like I said, we're coming through, looking to meet friends, and get a, get a, we're new here, so we're looking for a rough, uh, idea, the layout and locations of the island, the sights to see, the people to know, and the. Uh, people might want to be into trading or, uh, that sort of thing. I carry around a little bag, a few trinkets here, or useful items that, uh, that, uh, if you're looking for anything in particular, I just might have it. I just might have it. And if I don't have it, I bet I can find it in, in a, uh, given enough time. Um, I mean, we're pretty self-sufficient here. I mean, we grow our crops, we hunt our game. Uh, we smelt ore from the, the mountains that aren't too far off. Um, can't really think of anything, but you're more than welcome to ask around, see if anybody anybody needs anything. Folks don't have a lot of coin to spend, though, if that's what you're looking for. Well, it's more looking for the relationship at this point. And, and maybe trade some things. Sure. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, what were you looking for? Um, well, I haven't seen a forge in a few, a uh, few time. Uh, I, I, I'm carrying a sword that would need some repair on me. And I was looking for a couple of metal rings to strengthen my spear. Oh, we can probably do that for you. Ooh, I have sleeping poison too. I didn't see that. Uh. How you, how you doing for luxury? <laughs> they both kind of look around. And uh, Marissa speaks up. Says, we don't have much uh, much use for luxury items. <coughs> Any big uh, dangerous game around here? There's uh, There are some fair-sized animals out in the out in the plains. Got any use for a bear trap? <clears throat> I don't think a bear trap would stop one. Oh, bigger I mean, than that, eh? Yeah. I mean, we can definitely use traps though for our, for our hunters for regular game, but some of the shit that's out there. <laughs> Big lizard? Uh, there are some of those, yeah. Uh, there's also these uh, larger creatures, you know, skin thick enough to turn a sword, you know, strong enough to, to throw a man 20 feet, heavy enough to trample him underfoot, killing him dead as dead. Does that sound like a troll? That's like a dinosaur. Oh, maybe. Uh, another village sold me uh, leather skinned armor, uh, lizard skin armor. Didn't see the lizard from which it's come from yet, but I assume it's big and nasty. Yeah, there's some there's some bigger lizards out in the hills. Um, definitely, you know, something to keep a watch for. I mean, uh, really out th <coughs> out there out in the grasslands, those are the things that you can't see. I think what I'd the... really be looking to trade for, and maybe you can direct me to the right person, is I'm looking to kind of. Get a rough idea of what's out there. Like, m maybe uh, a map or some memories of, oh, I was here, I was out here, saw this of interest. Uh, you know, there's, there was an old, maybe there's an old abandoned coal mine or a silver mine or something around. What uh, direction is the mountain would be a good start? Where, where to avoid the thunder lizards, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, Mountains are uh, across the swamp, maybe maybe two three days. Uh, 
probably might be old mines in there. I mean, we don't have the manpower for actual mining, so we just kind of take what ore we can find. Um, there's the tar pits, um, about two days northwest of here. Uh, a lot of it's through swap, though, so you're going to have to watch out for the, uh, the, the, the lizard people. Met up with some kobolds and some Vivian people. Um, Trusty is sorry, you broke up there, Trev. Trusty do you know? Remember what that big troll thing was called? Water troll or something. <clears throat> um. Never heard of any such thing, but I think we met an owl bear too. I think that's what yeah. it was called. They tend to stick mostly to the forest, so I need a room. <sighs> we don't really have uh, rooms. Uh, you're more than welcome to put a tent up anywhere. I mean, not in the not in the fields, but I need a room. Don't mind him. He's grumpy in the morning. And in the evening. Uh, I mean, the best we could do for uh, best we could do for a room is uh, probably stay in one of the storage sheds. It'll do. How much? Uh, want to sleep in our storage shed? <coughs> fair trade's fair trade, right? Uh, yeah. Just you or all of you? Oh, I'm not sleeping in the same room as him. I've got a tent. I have a tent. Uh, a couple of copper pieces will do it. Uh, is it 10 to 1 for silver to copper? Yes. Where's this room? Uh, and he'll uh, toss over a couple copper. Okay. Uh, Marissa will be like, oh, okay, um, yeah, follow me. We'll, uh, we got one of the one of the barns. The crops haven't come in yet, so we may as well use it as a sleeping room, I guess. Can we have them? Um, and she will lead you to this uh, this little house right here. Okay. I just want to clarify something that's on my character sheet. Okay. Uh, my sword is slightly damaged right now, isn't it? Uh, yes. Okay. I will turn to Keith then. Okay. I've been bagging this on people who don't have the sense to stay down. Um, would you be able to sharpen it? And how much would that cost? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I haven't worked on weapons in quite a while, but I mean, blades take, a blade, right? blades a blade. Um, yeah, if you guys want to gather up all your stuff that needs to be repaired, I'll take care of that for you. How much would it cost? Uh, how many things do you have that need repaired? Um, I don't know if you can do something about this. And I'm picking up my broadsword, but it's rusty. Oh yeah, we can we can uh, grind that down a bit, and yeah, we should be able to get that good as new. Okay, just this long sword for me. Yeah, uh, Trustius has a throwing knife for repair. And if you have a couple of, uh, of fastening and uh, rings I could use to strengthen one of my spear, uh, 
I'll take that out of the iron. Okay, yeah, we can get you all, all fixed up here. Thanks. So. I'll just fix them myself. I don't want you to get uh, a splinter from that. <coughs> um, yeah, I should be able to, I mean, it's just repair work. It's not like I'm building anything from scratch. Uh, I was about to knock off for the knock off for the evening, go grab something to eat. Uh, but I can get that these first thing in the morning. You should be able to have them by by noon, probably. Good with me. Okay, and let's just uh, let's just call it like a, a silver piece for the lot of it. Who else I'll, is I'll, repair? I'll, I'll look at Caldy. I'm ready to pay, but you find that fair? I don't know about numbers. Sorry, I just uh, refilled my water. What, what's, the, what's the number? One silver to repair all our stuff. Oh, yeah. I'll even pay for it. Thanks. I mean, given how I damaged my sword. Actually, <laughs> before I say that, I should look at my gear make sure I have money. Yeah, no problem. I'll pay for that. Uh, <laughs> Return the favor sometime. Uh, if you were clocking off to go eat, I'll bring that to you in the morning. Oh, sure, yeah. Alright. Uh, Tristius. Uh, give me a uh, scouting roll. Oh, you want me to be scouting? Okay. Uh, I'm sure this will go well. Scouting, no modifier. Nope. I mean, why not? There you go. Okay. All right. Um. So yeah. So uh, uh, Marissa leads you to the uh, to the shed. She's like, I mean, we don't even have like hay that we can put down or anything for you. Sure this will be okay? I need space and I need candles. If you have candles. We can probably find some candles. Um, and as she's showing to you, your eyes kind of your eyes kind of pass over it uh, but it then you can like, wait a second. Um, and there is a, there is a, a lock on the uh, or a, a place to put a lock on the outside of this shed. That's not unusual, though. Yeah. Nope. Unless they're cannibal. Do you often lock things into the shed? Well, you know, sometimes when the, when the harvest is in, we do need to keep a little bit of security. I understand. And you can give me an insight roll. Oh, this is going very badly. Insight. My insight is garbage. There's no way to be average at everything in this game. You're good at some stuff and bad at others. Oh, yeah. Um, we have, we have a... a if we have a surplus uh, of crops, it's nice to keep them safe until we can, you know, cart them way down south to trade or something. That makes some sense. You do understand that if you lock me in this building, your village will probably burn. He's so friendly. I uh, don't mean to be threatening. I just need space uh, when you threaten her village even uh, obliquely her face hardens and you've seen that look on Desi's face right before she decapitates people <laughs> and, and in this case because of your little shenanigans Trestius is not looking at the ground when he's talking he's looking straight at her eyes right yep <clears throat> I don't want to have to harm you or your people. I just need space. 
And we can definitely give you space. Um, and as for candles, um, if you check at the check at the community hall, they should have some they can spare. Okatai. Yes. <laughs> um, perhaps you can watch the store for a, a few hours. And yeah. Whatever you hear, don't come in, though. Yeah, it is a rocket. Don't bother knocking. Sounds it's about right. Very important that you stay outside. He needs some alone time. Teenager. <laughs> I almost want to tell Trestius that he should eat Snickers. <laughs> you're a little surly when you're hungry there, Trestius. Yeah, his will his willpower's getting too high. Chris is pushing buttons too, so. I got the feeling that it won't be fun for very much longer. Chris would push my. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so, yeah, so you guys make arrangements to get your uh, to get your gear repaired. Um, and then what would you like to do? Uh, he's basically just, you know, he's like looking at you. Then just kind of like, you know, puts his tools away. And then he kind of looks at you again. <laughs> Giving you the subtle, like, I'm closing up shop here. All right, well, I'll wander out. Let's find a good place to set up camp. I'm just following Caldy. Yeah, I want to be in visual the distance. I want to be able to see the, uh, someplace where we can see the lock on that shed. Mm. And if brimstone and smoke start coming out of the top of it. Well, I mean, oh, good times over there. It should be fine. Unless he lights himself on fire in it. That would be bad. Uh, so yes, as the evening rolls on, uh, the fog dissipates. Uh, over time. Um, you guys are looking for a place to set up a camp? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, who would like to make a camping roll? That is survival with plus two because you have a tent. My survival is six. I can do that. My survival is nine. Well, you win. I didn't know yeah. you could get a nine. It's, uh, no, uh, it's nine? Eight. It's eight, sorry. It's eight. Somehow my brain was like, five plus three is nine. <laughs> I mean, even eight's like stellar. Yeah. Thing I'm really good at is survival and speaking with beasties. I like how the druid and the necromancer are kind of buddies. <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to keep a, an eye on you. You both have reduced to rotting meat. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm How did you manage that? I'm going to push that. Ugh, I'm going to push that. There you go. Oh. Well, at least you can sleep it off. Yep. Oh, I'm not sleeping for now. Not in this village. All right. Uh, so while Okatai is setting up camp, what are the rest of you doing? Is there a tavern or a bar in this town? Uh, there is. There's like a like a communal hall. They call it a tavern called the Gentle Sheep. Oh, I'm gonna go look for the Gentle Sheep. Okay. It is this uh, building up against the the hills up in the up in the corner. Um, sounds nicer than the bucket of blood. Yeah. Um, and as you walk in, it is 
Um, it's not the it's not the sort of rowdy establishment that you know you would come to expect from something called a tavern. Uh, it's it's very much much more akin to a, to a mess hall. Uh, you know, kind of like they've got a communal stew pot. Actually, they've got several communal stew pots, with various like vegetable and meat stews, fish stew. Um, you would guess that most of the fish probably come from the lake. Uh, <coughs> They do have uh, they do have servings of the uh, of the barley wine and a kind of like like a kind of weak uh, wheat beer. Uh, sir, uh, there's not a lot of people. You get the feeling as you guys have walked around that this entire village is like maybe fifteen people. <coughs> Sorry, how many? Fifteen or fifty? About fifteen. Okay. Uh, That's the place that needed the cauldron. Uh, yes. Uh, you do know though that they they have sent out hunting parties, which were probably like a you know between half a dozen or a dozen. So you know maybe half the population is here and half is out uh, on hunting. But it's not a large village by any stretch. Um, but when you when you walk into the tavern, you know kind of all eyes turn to you, um, and then they kind of like look down. Oh. For, for, sorry for staring. We've uh, we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen any halflings through here in in years. Um, by all means, come on in. Join us. Oh, thank you. And, uh, okay. I'll be going too. So I mean, Desi is probably with me. Okay. Yeah, I'm following behind you. <clears throat> Taking my guard duty seriously. <clears throat> Greetings, hail and well met. Oh, um, same. Uh, I'm Linick. I'm the, uh, the the main cook here. Um, I'm rising. Have you, were you guys traveling long? Do you need something to eat, something to drink? I heard oh. that you make a mighty good brew, and the the beet juice here is the best and uh, best you can find anywhere. Certainly. I also heard you were looking for some some uh, some goods, trade goods like cauldrons and stuff. Is that accurate? I won't say no to uh, no new cookware. That's for sure. Uh, let me get your orders and then maybe we can we can talk. Well, I think I'm going to try that beet juice because I promised uh, our young farmer friend that uh, <coughs> I would give it a shot and let him know what I thought. Uh, and what about you two? Uh, something, something along the lines of an ale or a beer or something like that. Uh, we got uh, weed. Weed ale hasn't had much of a chance to age properly, so it's. Uh, I mean, it's what we got for ale. All right. What do you have that's ready to be consumed that has alcohol in it? Uh, the barley wine is fine. Uh, that's uh, that's, that's from crazy. last year, so. I'll try the barley wine. Sure. Sure. Maybe with some stew or something. Uh, yeah, we got uh, fish stew and uh, we got some uh, uh, some meat stew. I'm not sure what type of meat. The hunters weren't real clear. They said it was some sort of lizard. Oh, mystery meat. Well, lizard meat. Lizard meat. Take some of the mystery out of it. Oh, I can try, try some lizard stew. I don't think I've had that in forever. Alrighty. <clears throat> I'll have the brandy. All right. And the fish stew. Perfect. Right. Um, so she goes out to, to basically, like, I mean, everything's already cooked, so it's, you know, basically just putting it in bowls um, and brings it out. Um, everything is, it's, it's, it's plain, but very tasty. Uh, not a lot of spices grown out here, for example, but it is, uh, uh, it is seasoned. There is salt. They probably get it from you know the they did say there are swamps nearby there might be salt water uh but it's it's tasty and everybody you know there's this real communal sense amongst everybody you know everybody is in their little groups talking but the the tables are like these long like picnic tables so you you don't really get a table by yourselves you're just at this long uh picnic table eating kind of rubbing neighbors and people are chatting you know uh, a lot of talk about like you know crops and you know, how the rains are going to be, you know, farmer talk about weather. 
Um, and then, you know, some discussion about whether or not the the, uh, the, the hunting groups, when the hunting groups might be back. Um, it's all just kind of like low-key and pleasant. They, you know, they're, they're willing to engage you guys in, in conversation. They ask, you know, where are you from? How long have you been traveling? Um, you do pick up from conversation here and there that you overhear. Um, that some of these people have been in this village for quite a while. You know, there's like, ah, that's my great-grandfather's land over there. I know how to grow things on it. Don't you be telling me. Uh, and some of the other folks seem to be newer, perhaps uh, perhaps prisoners who were brought here before you guys, uh, but they've made a home here. All right. Um, and you guys, uh, we'll say, we'll say Desi and Ryzen. You guys notice as you're, you know, as you're having this meal, kind of listening in on the conversations here and there, there's one person in particular that is, that is eyeing Caldi. Eyeing in a good way, bad way. Uh, you can give me an insight roll. Not for sale? Oh, God. I'll do that. I mean, I can roll the dice for insight. It's not going to tell me anything. <laughs> insight. This is any good as my last insight roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, Desi, you're like, you've noticed this guy, I, I and Caldi. Um, uh, and Ryzen, you've you've been around for a little bit you're a you know you're a well-traveled halfling um mm -hmm. that is the that is the sort of look that you give someone that you have uh unpleasant business with there is a there is a murderous intent in that gentleman's eyes uh what does he look like um Fairly, fairly lithe-looking human male, uh, early fifties. So you know, towards the older end of things in the in the Forbidden Lands. Um, uh, early fifties. Early fifties. Okay. Um, as you're kind of like some guy I recognize. Kind of, you haven't noticed him. So, um, as you're kind of sizing sizing him up, you do notice he's got a he's got a couple of scars like on his hands, you know. Um, mm -hmm. like those are, you know, those aren't scars from, you know, hard work. Those are, those are the sort of like scars that somebody picks up when they've spent time as a knife fighter. Okay. <clears throat> that doesn't sound like somebody I'd be associated with. Oh, hey, no. Coley, I didn't know, I didn't know you were popular in this town. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Never been here before in my life. Hmm. Well, there's somebody here who uh, has his eye on you. I oh, say that, that? In, a, in a hushed tone. I sort of like. Who's that? I sort of like point subtly with my with my head as if I'm like just stretching a bit. I got that that human over there. It looks like his hands have been in more than one knife fight. <clears throat> All right. So I'll take a quick scan of the room, and I don't fixate or focus on anybody in particular, but in my peripheral vision, I'm uh, clock, uh, yes. catching faces. Well, unless, of course, he's like sizing you up as a target, potentially. Uh, so how's uh, your eyes kind of a light on this gentleman, Caldy? You're like, wait, 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 wait. And you remember a time when you were, you know, a law abiding citizen uh, and occasionally, occasionally made some coin on the side by turning in criminals to the authorities. And you're like, oh, oh, shit. And that's somebody that you ratted out. All right. 
And judging by the way that he is kind of looking at you, he knows you're the one that ratted him out. Okay. And you are the reason he is on this godforbidden island. All right. Uh, Desi, you know that uh, bodyguard thing you've been doing such a great job at? Yep. Keep up the good work. The plan. It's just about the guy over there. Well, we don't really like talking about our past lives, right? But let's just say that uh, he's probably pretty pissed at me and maybe... Oh, I might have dropped a line on him, and uh, you know he he might not have been here if I hadn't talked to a certain person about a certain something. And <coughs> I guess he was a bit of collateral damage. Shit disturber, were you? Gotcha. I would have never suspected. I know. I know, these- but in my younger days. Here I thought we were all innocent. Every single person on this island is innocent. Maybe. Well, I mean, I know I'm innocent. I can't speak for anybody else. I just assume that we're all innocent. I'm innocent until somebody pisses me off. <clears throat> what? Me too. I'm going to pretend like nothing's happened. I didn't notice, and uh, all's good in the world. It takes just effort to just your, enjoy your fish stew. It's I not didn't order food. I did. Or it's lizard not stew. Bad, but I didn't trust the lizard stew. Not after seeing people walking through the forest with guy trussed up. Fish. I know what fish looks like. Tastes like this, I trust. But you enjoy your mystery meat stew, it's part of the, the joy of life. Eh, I like what my I mysteries in other ways, not, not in my food, <laughs> like mystery on who the hell is this I'm stabbing with my sword. It's not usually a mystery. I generally don't care. Like if I'm stabbing them with my sword, then they've pissed me off. So I know all I need to know about them. They are a person who can piss me off. Mm. It takes effort, I promise. <laughs> I know you might not think so. <laughs> it does actually take an effort. I didn't take out the hunting party and take their deer could have but i mean why right Mm -hmm. other than the fact that we would have had a deer but get a deer on our own just you know wrong person pissed me off so i am Alrighty, uh, in the meantime, Trustius and Oketai, what are you guys up to? No. Oh, good. Well, officially I'm, making, <laughs> officially I'm making camp and watching a bit for the door. Right. Uh, so Trustius, what were you up to? Um, turn, turns out that I don't need to be inside. I ha- absolutely have to be outside. So I'm right. going to... Um, <laughs> going to walk out of this little spot where I've had some time to collect and understand my feelings. And <laughs> I'm going to That's walk okay. into the middle of the uh, field to myself. Okay. It's trusty. It's Written a, a long cat. time ago. <laughs> Probably in a foreign tongue. Give him yeah, a sip. A- yeah, both there. Um, I'll whisper to Al- Alcatai as I walk by, ensure no one gets close. It's very important. And I'm going to spend the next quarter day um, casting a rank three ritual called Still Life. 
Oh boy. Which is a uh, dangerous cast or uh, whatever the term is. Alrighty. That sounds promising. Uh, so, yes. Right? So, uh, you'll have to cast, and then there's an automatic <laughs> miss as well. All right. So, I'm going to spend three. Okay. Uh, so, power level three. Um, I can't save cast it. I don't have the ingredient. Uh, just to roll. Uh, no whammies. Just play up what you gave me there, Chris. So. Yep. No whammies. Roll miss. Uh -oh. That's not bad because there's going to be a mishap anyway. Yeah, that's right. That could, should give me six willpower. It does give you six willpower. So he doesn't blow up right in front of us? Well, it might. Yeah. Chris is going to make a roll. <laughs> Magic mishap table. Let's see if I keep my Necromancer friend for a while. Yep. All right. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, that's not horrible. Uh, so, um, just as, uh, you know, by the time Okatai is, uh, is done the camp and you guys are, are done, uh, having your meal and your, and your, you know, social time, uh, just as the, the field around you just dies and Okatai, you're going to look over, you're like, hmm. Like this 20 foot radius of just circle of nothing. Uh. And you see these uh, these black lines, basically. Actually, you probably don't see because it's dark by the time you guys are done this. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning by the time people like, are ready for bed. Um, but Tresius, you feel power like just flow into you. Um, and... The ground, like you're expecting the you're expecting the plants around you to wither, um, and they do. Uh, but I'm going to need you to make a move roll. A move roll. Yep. Uh, move. I'm actually fairly good at move. I'll push that. Um, do I want to push that? Uh, God, I can't get more willpower, right? Uh, that's correct. Uh, moves based on agility. I'm going to still push. That makes more sense. Okay. Um, so you kind of throw yourself uh, backwards as these two large hands kind of try to grab around your ankles from underneath. They do not look remotely human. Are they like birds or zombies or uh, lizards? <clears throat> Kind of lizardy, birdish sort of things. Those are birds. Uh, and you're probably going to want to grow ahead and draw some initiative. Oh, yes, I would love to do that. 
Oh, well, I lost for about three minutes there. I lost Discord. It's back now. Uh, what was the mishap? I'm hoping to hear. Uh, uh, the mishap was a little bit of damage to his strength. The uh, the rest that's happening is not a mishap. It's just adventure <clears throat> stuff. Okay. Can I yell out to Okatai? Uh, you can when your turn comes up. Okay. Can I swap my turn with Lesser Demon 1? Probably not. No. Uh, the good news is that these are just Lesser Demons. Uh, but it is still going to lurch at you with a bite. Okay. Oh, wow. Well. Um, so yeah, so these, uh, these kind of like scaly lizardy bird type creatures pull themselves from the ground, uh, snapping at you with their beaks. Um, and at the same time, they're, they're, they're not screeching, but they're, they're whispering and you can hear them. They're, they're whispering, but you can also hear it reverberating in your brain. And they're just saying like, this land is ours. This is ours. This is mine. No. It's mine. Uh, and you're up. I would like to leave. Okay. And I'd like to yell to Okutai to help. Okay. Uh, you will need to make a move roll. Uh, yeah, definitely have to leave. All right. They do uh, not get uh, a free attack at you. I will take that. I am booking it to Okutai. I love that. This is my land. Now I'm leaving. Okay. Well, the good news about demons is plausible deniability. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. What is it about Guybersons and hiding behind other characters? Common sense. That's the whole <laughs> acumen. <laughs> yeah. Self-preservation. <laughs> right. uh, so, yeah, so uh, okay, you just kind of finished getting your uh, your camp set up. Uh, everybody else is kind of gathering back from their uh, their night at the tavern. Uh, and you see uh, Trusty has come running out of this, uh, running out of the darkness. Demons. Is this your doing? Was this the plan all along? And he, he, he unsheathed uh, his sword and his spear. Was not by plan, no. Accident. I knew there was something wrong with this place. You better not be lying to me, though. I caused this, but it was not my intent. If you start summoning demon, we're going to have a problem. I have no control over demons. Uh, Okadai well, is going to try to spot the demon with his, uh, with his eye. Okay. Do I see it from where I am? Just just ponders a bit. Does he have control over demons? Well, maybe, technically. I, um, you just, you peer off into darkness. You don't smell anything unusual. I'm preparing to cast Banish Demon. Okay. But I need to, I, I assume I need to see it. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell, uh, I need to see it. I don't, I, I cannot spot him. Uh, we need some light. I don't have any torches. I think I do. No, I don't. Well, they'll come to the building or they'll leave. One or the other, it's fine. Mighty things, they can't harm us. 
I see in the light of the camp and I await the arrival of the demon. <laughs> Okadai, try to alert the visit village. Let them know there are demons here. They're going to love us. If they Something's didn't already know. The field. If they didn't make a deal with that and they're the one feeding those things. I didn't call the demons. Well, the demons came while I was doing something else. But... Well, the demon were already here. If you didn't call them. I believe they're in the soil somehow. And those people have been what, making sacrifice to them? I don't Keeping know. them happy? <laughs> We'll need to speak with the villagers to uh, try to understand. It's all out for everyone in the villager on the side of the demon. We're going to have a bigger problem. Raise the alarm or not. Entirely up to you. Whatever you think is best. If they come here, I'll kill them. I'm trying to stay in the light of the camp that I made, but uh, I'm going to call for Jesse. She's out of the bar. Yeah, her and uh, and Kaldi and uh, and Ryzen have uh, basically made their way back to camp, hoping to you know maybe catch some shut eye, shut eye since it is two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we do need some sleep. Oh, you slept this afternoon. This morning. What do you do with the drunken sailor? What do you do with the drunken sailor? Duplex. <laughs> when, I, when I spot this and the others, uh, you, you might want to unseat your sword. It's just demons. Small ones. What? Better what if I could demon? spot them. I mean, apparently there was demon living under the soil of the ground here. And yeah, you guys have been talking for like five, ten minutes now. And no demons have come. I'm next to the fire and I'm waiting for something to show up. Yeah, I've been talking quite a bit, assuming this was more than a round. Ten minutes pass. No There's demons. something wrong with the soil here. When you got a torch, you can go see what's up with those demons. Something mm. wrong with And things came out of the ground while I was praying. He is he is lying when he says praying. You don't even have to make a roll. <laughs> Practically puts it. Praying to what? That book? Probably. No, not the book. We should retire. I thought you They're... wanted us to fight demons. Apparently the demons are gone. But my concern is more with this ground. The ground is tainted. There's something wrong with it. I swear if I wake up and all the villagers are dead. That's the case. It's not my intent, and I apologize if it happens. That's and good he, and jolly, he says but... that completely sincerely. It's like if, if I kill the entire village, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't mean it. That's 
jolly and all, but does anyone have a torch so we can go see the things if there if there are any? Nope. <clears throat> is there one on the is there one on the building next to us? Uh, the the place where he, that he rented for the night? Uh there's like a kinda of like a little oil lamp that's attached to the outside of the house. That's something I can pick up. Um, it's attached to the building. You could detach it. It doesn't really have a it doesn't really have a carrying handle or anything. Okay. I think Desi's the only one with torches left. Perhaps we should just wait till morning. Those demons are small. They seem relatively harmless. Harmless enough for us to sleep next to demons. My concerns are connected to the ground somehow. That's the ground that keeps drinking blood. Right. There's something wrong here. The village might be the villager might be on in on it. I'm sure it's safe. I'll need time to figure it out, as always. Little demons. You know that my sword is back there, blacksmith shop, right? That's why I told him I would bring in my weapon in the morning. Does in case some anybody, shit like that happen. I mean, does does anybody have a spare blade? I can kill them if they show up. I got my weapon just in case. You volunteering to be on watch then? If it's night, I'll go. That I sleep. If it's night, I, I'm on watch. <coughs> Just remember, if something comes in the dark, don't come to me. Go to Trustius. I don't have anything to defend you with. I do have a knife, if that will help. I don't know. Do you need it to kill demons? No. Yeah, okay. Already... So, you guys are bedding down for the remainder of the evening? I think we're kind of buckering up, yep. Apparently. Who is keeping watch? That would be me, I think. Uh, yeah, Calde, you're the night guy. I think everybody else is sleeping. I'm going up. Uh, what is the scouting then? Uh, yes. Only guard, because only one person can, but I'm staying up. Okay. Fine, but I'm having an internet issue. Let me refresh. The good news is the Necromancer has 10 willpower. The bad yep. news is the Necromancer, Necromancer has 10, 10 willpower. willpower. I think I have 7. I have 10. You always have 10. Because you roll, you roll like garbage and you get free. 
I uh, I started a game with ten and ended a game with zero. Really? Yes. <clears throat> That's impressive. That's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Somehow or I have eight. Even though I spent a bunch. Oh. Yeah, they add up pretty quick. All right. Uh, the Ooh. night night passes without incident. Uh, everybody uh, except for Kaldi and Oketai can hit their rest button. Oh, the blessed rest button. Uh, Kaldi and Oketai can check off Sleepy. Oh. Well, Kaldi slept the, the morning quarter, so I assume he would not be sleepy. <laughs> Nobody has slept the morning because you guys headed out in the morning, ran into in the, the bandits. Yeah, yeah, but after the bandit, we, we took a rest. You rested, but nobody slept. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, I get you. I'm just trying to figure out where Sleepy is. There it is. Yeah. Um, you guys get up. It is a, it's a nice sunny morning. Um. You can see, like, the little boat is out in the lake. There's some fishermen people. Um, the, you know, it, it is sunny. Uh, trust as you look, and uh, the field where you were, uh, it is completely intact. What? It is, uh, you know, doesn't look like anything untoward happened there at all. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> This is either the best or worst place that I've ever, ever been to. You know, and as you guys are kind of like stretching and getting out of your tents and getting out of sleeping bags, you know, people are walking by. They're like, you know, nodding to you, like, you know, kind of the whole like, you know, nice day for fishing, ain't it? <laughs> um, going about their, uh, their, their Oh my life. God, it's a swell town. <laughs> okay. Um, but, uh, Kaldi, that's crazy, crazy. Uh, Kaldi, I will get, uh, you to give me an observation, a scouting check. Love to. I will push. So yeah, I mean, you're tired, so you know, a little bit of a little bit of a hard time keeping your head on straight. Um, and as you guys kind of like, you know, pack up your sleeping bags, go about your business. I mean, like I said, there's not a lot of people in this town. Like th this town is like 15 people tops. Uh, but Kaldi, you're like you're looking around. You're like, I, I had the beach. <coughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk to the the farmer there and let him know how it was. He's not here. Um, okay. Uh, but what's worse is, you know, you kind of like ask around a couple of people. Nobody has heard of him. Do I recognize all these people from yesterday? Yes. They're all they're people that, you know, you saw you saw in the mess hall, you know, you had uh, had supper with. Ask him who makes the beet juice. Who grows these beets? The pull up my NPC name list. Um, uh, Bass over there. So that's completely not the guy, huh? That is not the guy that you talked to about beets, and they indicate a different farm. So this, the original guy showed me his own farm, right? As far as you know. I asked whose farm that was. Like that. Oh, uh... Did he own that one? That's a Fiori's farm. He's out with the hunting party. He should be back in a day or two. Uh, can I make a little check to see if I remember seeing him with the hunting party? Uh, insight check. Uh, the ghost stories. Um, so yeah, you're thinking in like, 
No, you know you talked to the guy at that farm yesterday. He didn't. He wasn't with any hunting party. He was there. He talked to you. Well, I mean, when I saw the hunting party, we've seen the hunting party already, right? Yep. Rack of my brain. I was like, was that guy in that hunting party? No. All right, so this is somebody I knew completely. They're, um, they're shenanigans. Um, but what's what's confusing you is you don't sense the, the, the person that you're talking to. They're not being misleading or deceitful or anything. Like, that's Fiore's farm, and he's with the hunting party. Something's rotten in the state of Denmark. And uh, with this mystery starting to unfold, we will call game there. All right. So, XP. What have you done, Trustius? Well, I don't think it was me, actually, in this case. Ooh. All right. Uh, XP, everybody gets one for participating. Yay. Uh, you traveled to at least one hex that you had not visited before, so that's two. Uh, you did discover a new adventure site. Oh, well, okay. Here we go. Uh, so that's three. Didn't defeat any monsters. I uh, didn't find but a gold. Did. Yeah. They're, they're not monsters, though. Uh, ah. uh, did you find a treasure? Uh, no. Function, no. Activate your pride, no. Suffer from your dark secret? Uh, Kaldi did. Really? Nice. Yeah. Hey, we discovered, uh, we discovered new alcohol in Lizard Stew. That's a treasure of sorts. <laughs> That's not the word. <laughs> it, it's a treasured memory, yeah. not a treasure. I think I'm going to play next game for my dice secret because I refuse to sleep or eat in the village. Yeah. <laughs> Pressured memory might be stretchy a lot, too. Um, nobody really risked their life for another PC. Hey, now. No, but you did do something <laughs> epic. Uh, but uh, I need it to get the extraordinary action. I would think so. Yeah, I mean, that There's was... One like... strength left. Stop, stop at four people all, doing all that parry shit. Yeah, that's worth an XP. When I was doing all that parry shit, I had one strength. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Me too, by the way. <laughs> well, yep, I really we were equally strong. <laughs> <laughs> I just said better reach because I'm tall. <laughs> Uh, so that would be uh, three XP and then four for Tony, Trevor, and Anita. I'll take it. Yep. Just yeah, the 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 Desi doing the the um, deflect that that whole parry parry stuff that she did I really was like awesome. That, that, was, that was that was that was gold. A lot of clutch rolls. Amazingly, because normally my dice try to kill me at the first chance they get. Alrighty, so yes, we will uh, call it there. We will see everybody next week to see what else happens in this sleepy little village. What is it's Tristan? Very, it's so very swell. It's it's thankfully not swell. It is. It it's is thankfully not swell, especially for the poor guy named Robert. He exists. <laughs> if he exists. Somewhere. If he exists. Out there. Who knows? Oh, this is great. You finally <laughs> forget what is happening here, but I don't think my character can make no blink. <laughs> Alrighty.